So you just rub it in it like this. Yeah, all right. Professional painter showing you how it's done. Just like this. <laughs> Call me here full of paint, my hand full of paint, everywhere full of paint. I just hope it will wash out of my hair easily. Well, it should because it's water paint. minutes later a little longer than a few minutes later hello to you my youtube family what a guan welcome back to claudia's corner this is your girl claudia's so for today's video i'm just gonna jump right into it and let you know what i'm up to i'm heading to the paint shop and i'm going to get some paint because we will be doing some painting today yeah and the paint brand that i'm using is the edge chem brand so i'm heading to edge chem head office and this is on spanish town road to pick up my paint so the two colors that i'll be using today i will be using the low sheen and that will be in radiance so this color i'll be using for my accent wall and the next color that i'll be using is cream yeah so you know i'm going to go light and then i'll be using the radiance to do my contrast so join me now so if you're new to my channel welcome welcome thank you for joining remember to like share subscribe hit that bell so you'll be notified when my new videos are released this is the space that i'll be painting today and let's see i'll be painting all of that all of this and that side in sections so i will start off with this side first and then i will push away the stuff and then <coughs> go over to the other side so ensure that your furniture is properly covered so that you don't get paint on it all right so i just grabbed two whole sheets that i got and I just threw them over the couch so to protect them so the color that's in the house is this bright yellow and this is the color that we'll be covering we'll be using the new cream color as a primer so you don't have to be too careful when you're doing the first coat so also ensure that you line the floor with newspaper well I ran out a newspaper so I had to use cardboard boxes so this will protect your floor and avoid it getting messy with your paint and also what i did was align all of the sections with the painter's tape this will protect the white trims from getting painted so this is actually the first coating that we did and we will be waiting until this dry first before we move to the second coat and remember also to mix your paint very well mix it properly mix it mix it round and this guy here he's camera shy So this edge cam paint was not a bad pick. It how was the spread rate, Kingsley? How did you like the application? The application is very smooth and it spreads very nicely on the wall. Just okay. a little bit of paint goes a, a long way. And I'm surprised that it covered the yellow color. Interesting. Yeah, two coats alone reused and it actually killed the yellow color that was there before. The paint is thick and nice like ice cream. <laughs> so you want to eat it? No. <laughs> so now we're waiting on the wall to dry so we can give it the final coat. So while we're waiting on this side to dry, we're going to head over to the other side and start 
paint in the accent one. Alright, so while Kings is still over that side, I'm gonna start this side and I'm just using the brush just to start it off. Uh, I'm actually testing to see how well the radiance will cover the yellow. So that's what I'm trying to do here right now. And once again, we don't prime it, we're just going to use this same paint that we're using to actually prime it out yeah all right to be clear usually when you're painting and you have a, a color that you know stands out more you'd normally use a white or a gray flat paint to prime it or you can use a primer they have they have primer for this also but to go the cheaper way persons normally use a white paint and try to kill the color so we're not doing this today or if you have enough paint you can use the paint that you're that you're using and kill it out too also so that's what we're doing well i know a little bit about paint because i used to sell paint and paint products for a couple of years now so i have an idea basically so basically i did most of the priming that is the person that did most of the work now the real true painter now is kingsley he did most of the work i was just mostly supervising and you know priming out first so i'm better with that but the final finishing and the cutting and them something there no he did it so i have to give him most of the praise he did an excellent job well done So yes, here it is. Basically, we finish one side and as I said, I don't have enough space. So I just push back the stuff them and put up back the picture frames and everything. And what I like about this paint, it didn't take a lot of time to dry. It was a quick drying paint also. So we had enough paint left over to do the kitchen. The paint really, I can tell you that it really did a good job. I must commend Edgecam for this paint. Well, also, the place is a little bit messy too. Yeah, I'm not a professional painter. But the good thing about it is it's water paint, so it could have easily wipe up. Yay! So when you're finished painting, ensure that you wash out your paintbrush and your roller sleeves. 
if the intention is to use them again. So my intention is to use them again. So I'm gonna wash out the roller pan, the roller sleeves, and the paintbrush. So you can just let them soak overnight in the water. And then when you're finished, you just put them to dry. And then they're good again. I don't know how to bark right now when I do in my video. Alright guys, so that's my tip for you guys. Thank you for watching.